welcome back. Thank you for joining me. You could be anywhere in the goddamn world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that shit. So, what we're gonna do today is dun 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 tag. Let me see if I can bring y'all in a little bit. You might just see my beautiful face, <laughs> I guess. Um, I don't know the name of this tag. I found like this archive of tags last night, and I just started cutting and pasting stuff. So I don't know the name of it, but it's very basic. So it's like a little bit get get to know me a little bit. And it's ten questions, so that's what we're gonna do. Now I will say this: I already started my face. I primed it, and I'm using the Juvia's Place, whatever the hell this is, dick. And I think mine is in Casablanca. I think that's what it is. This shit is dry. You cannot use a brush. No, no, no. You can't use a brush with this. You have to use a sponge because it is like impossible to blend out. I've been going at it for a minute. I mean, golly. And I love this thing. This from Real Techniques, the blend and blur. They're great. But I mean, it's so hard to blend out. You have to use a sponge. Not excited about that so far. So let's see how that works out. Anyway, first question. Question number one What is your name? I go by Brie. Um, when I introduce myself to people, I say Brie. My real name is Bridget. And my last name is Fuller. Um, I changed my name. And people that call me Bridget are people that have known me a very, very long time. Uh, like from grade school. And e But even then, they, they might call me Brie. Um, so, um, let me turn, close my phone. Um... When I was, I was assistant director at the YMCA of a summer program, which uh, incidentally is how I started working with children. Um, there were two girls in my group that were named Bridget. And so my director came to me and she said, well, what are we going to do about all these names? And she said it kind of jokingly. I said, well, I could just change mine. And she goes, oh, well, you don't have to do that. I go, no, I think it'll be fun. Because I thought that I would just use it while I was there working for the summer. And um, I said, I'll just call myself Brie. I thought Brie was a pretty name. Because I had a friend named Brianna and I thought it was a really pretty nickname. And when I went to school that fall to, um, you know, to, for what is it called? Undergraduate. <laughs> um, I started introducing myself as Brie and it stuck. So, yeah. Um, so that's how uh, that came about. Now, the bougie read came about when I was talking to my sister about starting this blog. And she was the one who said, you ought to call it bougie Bree because you are bougie. And I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. And so that's why that's my handle. Um, how many video subscribers do you have? Okay. I have a, a fair bit of um, videos. I don't know. Probably over 100, I'm guessing. I don't really know. Um, I have 88 subscribers, who I'm very grateful for. Um, but you will never hear me requesting for you to subscribe before you see my video, which is so annoying. Um, or really afterwards. I mean, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. If you don't, that's great too. Whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy and doesn't hurt anybody. So, um, I've always said I'm not here for anything but having a little bit of fun. And, uh, you know, this is a source of, you know, joy for me. And that's what it's supposed to be. It's not for monetization because I have a career that I'm very good at. And uh, so, yeah. Um, and I think, I, I, let me say this. I've had people unsubscribe and that kind of screwed with my, my head. But then I was like, why do you get, why are you getting upset? Like it's not, in the grand scheme of things, that's not important. Like, it's not. It's not important. Like, maybe they didn't like your content. Maybe they didn't like it cuss so much. There's a lot of things that they could have been offended by. Either way, if they didn't want to be your subscriber, then you don't want them to subscribe. And so, that was the end of that little battle with my brain. So, um, okay. Question number three. What made you start a beauty channel? Okay, I've said this before. I, I have a website that I've had for several years. And I started to add videos to it. But the only way you could add videos that were over, I think, three minutes were if you uploaded them to YouTube. So at first, you can only visit, see my, um, my videos through, if you went through my blog and clicked on it. That was the only way you could see it. Um, 
But after my mother died, um, I took some time off and I really like, just wanted to talk, you know, and just wanted somebody to listen. And, um, and even though nobody was talking back to me, I really felt like maybe somebody was listening to me and maybe I mattered. And so that's really what spurred it was after my mother died. Um, there, you know, there was a lot of division in my family and everybody was hurting and in pain. And so, um, that's why I started it. It really, truly is a coping mechanism for me. Uh, four, who on your YouTube, on YouTube inspired you to create a channel? Nikki Tutorials, hands down, was probably the first, um, creator that I saw. And she inspired me as far as, like, just her professionalism. Um, that was one thing. She always seemed very professional. She was funny. And her technique, uh, even though I disagreed with the way, or I didn't disagree. The way she did her makeup was not the way I would do my makeup. I would just be blown away by her looks. So, she was definitely one of them. Um, a couple of people, not a couple, several people in my life have said, have you thought about doing stand-up? And, um, and if you don't do stand-up, you need to do YouTube because people need to hear some of the things that you have to say. And um, so I've thought about it several times and I thought this would also be a way of kind of like providing some com a comedic relief. And so um, that was another thing is that people kept saying, you know, um, you should be on, you should uh, go do open mic night, you should do this, you should do that. If you don't do that, get on YouTube because you have such a presence about you, blah, 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 blah. So that's how I started it. What is your overall goal in making beauty videos? Okay, I've been talking about this with my best friend for a couple of days. You know, I do, usually do hauls, tags, <coughs> commentaries, that kind of stuff. Did I put powder on my face? I did. So I started talking about like what direction of my channel should my channel should go. And um, I think I'm gonna use this um, Too Faced pineapple one. And I started thinking about like women my age and kind of like being my age and going into middle ageness and how how it feels, you know, and it's not the best feeling in the world. Um and so you know, and I started thinking about myself and what kind of person I am, and I'm a sassy bitch over 40, you know, so 40 or over. And so, I, you know, one thing that women who are working don't have time for are cut creases and shit like that. We don't have time for that. So I started thinking that maybe I should do, like, some kind of, start doing, like, tutorials for women, because I can do a cut crease, baby. I sure can. I can do a lot of different makeup, but I don't do that because... I don't have time for it like and there's nothing that warrants me doing that like there's no reason for me to do that when I can pop something in the crease and call it a day and um maybe I could show you know simple make it for bitches over 40 something like that but um I was thinking me and my friend was like I think it'd be perfect she's like and I said but I think the bitches part would upset somebody and she goes Brie if somebody got offended by that then they've never been to your channel <laughs> So, if you have any ideas about what I can name the little series, that'd be great. But I would like to show women my age or older how they can make a pretty look for work or for church or for whatever. Um, you know, soccer moms that don't wear makeup every day, you know, if they go out with their husband or something, just try to show them how to make something attractive for themselves. That they don't have to do this, that, and the other. That they don't have to do everything they see in these beauty videos. Like, don't get me wrong. If, um, yeah, I cannot see, man, I'm so blind. Um, there's a lot of things on uh, these beauty uh, gurus that they do that are just outstanding. And it's great for it for the right time and place. But if you've got to be at work at 7.30 in the morning, you don't have time for that shit. You just need to throw something on the lid and be done. So my goal is to show women my age that they can be sexy, they can be sassy, and uh, but create a simple look. You know, that looks like they've been doing it for like 30 minutes. So, anyway, that's the direction I think we're going. If you had the chance to be sponsored by a product, we would, 
Um, I wouldn't want to be, to be it necessarily, necessarily. If I did, it would have to be an affordable brand or an indie brand. So, that's that. I wouldn't, I mean, I would never, and I'm never going to get the opportunity to do any kind of sponsored for um, big brands. I, but I just wouldn't feed that machine, if that makes sense. Like I, I don't desire to work with any large brands. My, my love and my passion is for indie brands. So, that's that. Okay, what's the next question? Do you leave messages on other people's channels to check yours out? No. That's so tacky. That's so tacky. People do that on my channel. I think it's so freaking tacky. I'm sorry. So if you leave a message on my channel telling me to check you out, that is not going to happen. Because I think that shit is tacky, man. Like, dude, that's you came over here to view my video so that you can... No, dude, that's tacky. That's tacky, period. And that's just like... I'm not here for that, like, that you're gonna, oh, uh, you probably didn't even watch my entire video, you know what I'm saying, you just found that I was a new creator, so, I'm not here for that, that shit's, no. What keeps you motivated to continue making videos when you were just starting out? Again, this is, like, therapeutic for me, um, this is a way to make me laugh, like, I, you know, okay, do you know that app, Marco Polo, where you can, um, you know, communicate with somebody through video message. Okay, there are many, many times where I go back and I watch myself because I'm just fucking funny, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so funny. And I'm sitting there laughing at myself for how ridiculous I am. Um, and that's what this is for me. It's just like a big Marco Polo. And you guys are on the other end. So, uh, I'll go back and watch my videos a thousand times and just laugh at how retarded I am. Like, what's wrong with you, girl? Like, <laughs> like, there's not a lot of women my age that behave the way I do, but guess what? I don't fucking care. So, that's what it, that's what it is. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. What can, let's see. Do you plan on making improvements soon for your channel? I was thinking about getting some of those lights that everybody be talking about. I don't know, but it, I wouldn't spend over two hundred dollars on no shit like that. I just got other shit I'd rather buy uh, with my money. So, um, yeah, I used the green and the gold, just layered them on top of each other because I ain't got time to be figuring stuff out right now. Um, and the last one, name a beauty guru who deserves more views. Monica from Matt Beauty, Mascara Cakes, Kara from Mascara Cakes. She's the shit. And she, I don't think she gets um, as many views as she sh she get should get. Um, those are the two that really. Those are the two that one of all ones. The those are the two. First of all, that reached out to me, or when I reached out to them, they reached back. That's the first thing. Two, they're really good women. You know what I'm saying? And we have things in common. And so, um, of course, I want to see them win. But, um, but they both have great content. So, that's my thoughts on it. Um, let's do some liner real quick. So, I want to, God damn it, the hell, fine. Well, there's, that's that. Okay, so, <laughs> I know people are like, she cusses so much. Yes, I do. If I think if I had children, I would not cuss nearly as much. But anyway, um, so, I'm going to be doing a room tour, which I'm fucking really excited about because, um, I mean, it's going to be similar to what it was before, but, um, I'm just proud of the work I've done. I haven't downsized necessarily, but when they were doing the flooring, I got, I took some stuff. I didn't take some stuff. I got rid of a bunch of stuff in my, my closets, both closets were packed to the hilt, like just all kinds of stuff, just stuff I'm never going to use again and just, I need to get rid of. And the apartment complex allowed me to keep it in there until Monday when Purple Heart picked it up. And um, so I was really happy that it was going to go um, somewhere that can be used, you know. Um, and then I was able um, to take some stuff that was in my house and put it in the closet, like, neatly that I don't use every day. Like, okay, so I have some coloring books that I use. I have my crochet stuff. And all that stuff was out in my bedroom. Girl, I took all that shit and put it in the closet. Like, put it neatly so that if I need to access it, I can access it. 
but it didn't need to be all in my bedroom at one time until I use it, if that makes sense. A bullet journal, all that stuff. I put it neatly, everything's organized. So I'm super happy about that. It freed up a lot of room for me. Um, Nala, my dog, uh, she's super happy where she's living in my house. <laughs> she's basically in my dining room. Uh, but it's close to me, and so she's happy about that. So, um, we're happy about how things turned out. Then I have room for my purse collection. I have a very nice purse collection that I'm very proud of. And, um, I was able to make room for it to display everything properly. So, I'm really happy about that. And I was able to change some things up in here. So, yeah. I would like to show that off. And one thing that bothers me in these videos when like, girls are like, I'm not showing off. I don't, listen, let me, tell you, let me tell you something right now. If I show you something, I am showing off. I want you to see that I worked hard and that I bought this or I earned this or whatever. So if you think that I'm showing off, I want you to know right here, right now, that I am. Like 100%. Are you serious? There's nothing wrong with showing off if you worked hard for it. Now, if you laid up on your ass and didn't do anything, or your husband or wife bought it for you. What is that to show off? Because you ain't did nothing for it. Now that is bad English and I know it. Okay. Okay, I want you guys to see this. Can you see that? Can you see my eyelashes? That is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Okay, watch. Can you see that? Ciao. Wait a minute. I'm using the Sumptuous from Estee Lauder. I just want you guys to see. Let me do the bottom line. Okay. Okay, I just want you to see. Get out of my forehead. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm always bitching about, or not bitching about, but bragging on. Anyway, if, I, if it sounds like I'm bragging, I absolutely am. And if you have a problem with that, what can you do? You can click the fuck out because I don't care. So, there's that. Okay, I'm done. So, again, for those of you who are late to the game, Bougie Brie is got her hair multicolored and is loving the shit, okay? Um, so, I have blue up front, blue on the sides, then purple right here. And then the back is gray, which is my natural hair color. I grayed at 25, completely gray by 30. Like, completely. If you go look at my videos um, in the beginning, you'll see. So, I don't know if you guys can tell how that looks, but it's super sexy and I love it. And I had a guy actually yesterday go, do you know your hair's like three colors? And I'm like, yes. It's like, oh, okay, just thought I'd mention that to you. Look here, asshole. It ain't like nobody asked you anything. And so he's like, no, no, no. I just didn't know how to say that you look pretty. I'm like, are you fucking 10? Get out of my face. Not a new product I'm really loving. I hate the shape of it because I don't know. Remember the, what is the cone heads from Saturday Night Live? That's what this reminds me of. This is from Black Radiance. I don't know what the fuck it's called. But this, what the fuck is, who, who puts on lipstick like this? Mm -mm. But it's more expensive than their damn foundation. It's really pretty. And I think I'm going to throw on one of my, let's do Pat McGrath. Oh, let's do Fenty because I never do Fenty with you guys. I always do it off, off camera. Bitch, get out of here. If you don't mind, can you comment below on the lighting? Is it too much? Is it just let me know what you think? Be kind. You know, I'm kind of free ball on this. I don't know too much about this kind of stuff, so. Can y'all see that my hair is multicolored? I think you should know how fucking fly it is. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. And I know that I say a lot of shit and I talk a lot of shit on here. And most of the time, I'm telling the truth. But I do appreciate if you spend a couple of minutes with me. If you don't watch the video all the way through, I'm, that's fine. But um, I do appreciate those of you guys who do. Um, you know, everybody just wants to be heard.
And that's it. Everybody just wants to be heard. And even though, I don't want to cry. Even though, <clears throat> even though I don't feel heard a lot of the times, I feel heard on here. So, uh, if things are going sideways in your life, just remember, it gets real, it gets different. It gets really fucking different. Hang on for the ride, guys. Love you. Bye.